Hi y'all, welcome to my shop. Uh, today I've got a few shop tips for you, not a lot, but uh, I only had time to get a, a short video and I'm not sure I'll be able to get one out next week because I'm kind of kind of backed up. But anyhow, I want to show you a few tips. One of the basic ones, you know, if we've been turning for a while, some of these things we take for granted, but I find that uh, a lot of times my smock or if I turn a long sleeve shirt, I'll get chips in the pocket and it, it doesn't lead to uh, matrimonial uh, harmony. The easiest way to deal with that is just take you a little piece of uh, uh, blue painter's tape or frog tape, green tape, and just uh, just tape it down. Easy peasy. The next one also related to dust. I found that uh, you know I generally carry my cell phone in in this pocket. Um, I usually wear cargo pants. I don't care much for blue jeans. And what I found was one time I got a lot of wood chips stuck in here that I had a I had to really struggle getting them out in order that I could charge this thing uh, and that's because when you stand at the lathe the chips tend to you know you're doing it sideways a lot of times the chips will tend to go in here and if you're not wearing a smock long enough to cover it and if you're moving sometimes it inches up uh, you're gonna get dust dust in that pocket what I found the simplest thing to do, you know, of course we got the same issue of dust we talked about on a shirt. You can put a piece of tape over it, but I find just simply transferring it to the left-hand side uh, pocket, I don't seem to have any of the, those problems because if I'm turning this way, the dust doesn't land land in it because I'm, my body's turned. If I'm doing work here, it doesn't land on the left-hand side. So just a quick tip. Seems like as we get older, we got to take better care of our body. So if you're doing any sanding, uh, using abrasive paste uh, with one hand, support the other hand very carefully to prevent wear and tear on that tendon, which can cause it to flare up. Here's a little bonus tip. If you're like me, your bandsaw collects a lot of dust in, in nooks and crannies that are a little harder to clean out. So what I did was I got a can of uh, spray foam and painted in, and sprayed it in all those little nooks and crannies in, in the top as well as as well as in the bottom inside the uh, door door cover just makes it a little easier to clean. Do you use bowls around your house? Uh, these are uh, a set of men's valet bowls. Uh, I have one of these that I use and it's just handy to just put in your keys, put in change, throw in your wallet at the end of the day. Quick marketing tip, if you're actually selling bowls, try to see if you can demonstrate how they might be used. And then there's my cereal bowl all ready for tomorrow that uh, I use it, I've been using it almost every day for uh, about eight years. My wife's a quilter and she uses a number of my bowls for just odds and ends like uh, safety pins and what have you. Here's another one, not sure why she's got that stuff there but not up to me to worry about it. And then of course here's another one that she she uses it. It's got a few odds and ends in. Uh, I want to show you a little box I'd made. This is out of Bradford Pear. Got a textured top. Uh, notice I left a tenon on here and rounded it, but I could put it back. I, I could put it back in a chuck. It made it easy for the next operation. Because basically, this box holds four Forstner bits. There's four holes drilled in the bottom that it fits. It's the base of each Forstner bit and. To make it easy to drill those holes, I just left I just left it in the chuck so the chuck would hold it. Uh, anyway, thought y'all might be interested.